guys, Mac in HD here, and welcome back to uh, FIFA 14 101. Uh, hello to all three or oh, 236 of you guys. Hello to all my new subscribers. Really appreciate you guys subscribing. Today we're doing AC Milan. So four and a half star team, and uh, this one I'm gonna actually do it live to show you my thought process when I go through it. So the first thing you wanna do is you're gonna have a look at the base squad that they have here. So we know this goalkeeper is pretty strong. Abate, Zabata, Mex is that's pretty much kind of picks itself. Uh, De Siglio, maybe Manslivo, Dijon, Nacherino, Niang. He's the sort of fellow that you'd be kind of kicking out, in my opinion. You'd be doing this, you'd be bringing on Rabinho. They're the same rating, which I think is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, you've got Antonini there. He's not too bad. Zicardo, he really is a fringe player, in my opinion. Uh, Traore, he could. Not really, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, Panzini, an 80 rated striker, but the lack of pace there, um, yeah, he's good enough. He'd definitely make it onto the bench. So, this is what I do when I go through it. First of all, I look at him and Matri. I mean, Matri's just slow as hell. I mean, he's just absolutely terrible. Um, so, you've got Kevin Constant, and you kind of have to go up here and you have to kind of really look right up and say it's one level, but we know Constant is better overall. And you want to look at the slide and tackling. As you can see, he's a better sliding tackle, but he has a better standing tackle. So you know, you're just gonna go for it and hope for the best. <laughs> now when he's joking. So um, yeah. Then you look at the formation. You've got El Shirawi. We know he's pacey. He can walk on the wings. And he's got the skill moves. He's absolutely perfect to play out there. We've got Mario Balotelli in the middle. So the four-three-three formation is the best. So now I'm gonna go through it and just list out some key stats. Abate, Abiati, sorry. Uh, he's He's a decent overall goalkeeper, he's not amazing, his reflexes and diving are okay, he's 35, 6 for 3, decent out. A batty, we know he's a PC player, you like that for your left back, uh, he's got good enough tackling, I mean 75 and 77, he really is more of an attacking player. High attacking, medium defensive, that seems to be a huge trait with left and right backs. Uh, sorry about my friend coming on nine. Uh, as you can see there is a batty, he's your solid centre back, he's going to be good at tackling, good at heading. 81 starting tackle, 85 standing tackle, 26 years old, 6 foot 2. Perfect. Uh, Mex is in the back line to pick out the more experienced player. Again, tall, not very quick, but got a tackling. 82 slide, 85 standing, uh, 6 foot 2. And he can score an amazing bicycle kick. <laughs> We've all seen that goal. Constant, we had a look at him. He's pacey enough, and uh, he's alright when it comes to defending. He's 6 foot, high attacking, medium defensive. Again, a lot like a, he's exactly identical to a batty. Nigel D. John, he fits in perfectly as a centre defensive mid because he's kind of you know a more rigid player he's good at uh, passing I mean look at that 91 aggression he's just going to rip the ball off players uh, 83 sliding tackle 879 standing tackle he's 27 years old 5 foot 9 high defensive low attacking so he's just going to sit there and defend and cover your back four which is a good trait Ricardo Montalivo I remember this guy he used to be playing with Florentina I got him in I think it was FIFA 12 He's playing with Florentina, pretty decent overall, and I've watched him grow. He moved here, and he's just he's become the captain, and he's just an amazing passer. Um, he's a little bit like Pirlo. Uh, I always think he looks very nervous. Uh, remember during Euro 2012, he's taken a penalty. I thought he was going to miss, and he absolutely slotted home. Four star weak foot, two star skill moves. That is a slight you know, problem. He can play as a centre attacking mid, but I think the centre mid role will just do perfectly there. Medium, medium, so he's going to be kind of up and down a little bit, but not too bad. Naturino, this guy I think he should be rated higher, 90 stamina, I remember him last year, he was an absolute beast, 81 long shots there, and I can just remember scoring absolute screamers with him, and he's got pretty good sliding tackling and standing tackling for centre main, 79, 79, uh, 27 years old, he can play as a centre defensive middle in case, you know, you get Dijon injured, high high, so that can be good and can be bad for a centre mid, I don't really mind it, he can take long shots, Rabinho, we know he's going to be pacey, I feel so sorry for this guy because I mean he is an amazing Brazilian player but he's just gone down in recent years, he's 28, striker, centre forward, right wing, left wing, 4 star weak for 4 star skill moves, low defensive, medium attacking, he's a pretty decent overall player, Mario Balotelli, we all know this guy, he's the biggest mess of going, 84 rated overall, he's just the perfect striker, 95 penalties, he started missing some though, so uh, I don't know what's that, what's that, what's about that, Mario, 22 years old, <laughs> so much more left than this guy, 6 for 2, 4 star for 3 star skill moves, low defensive, medium attacking, and uh, yeah, he, he's just, he's a legend, El Shirawi, we all know about this guy, he was a silver in FIFA 12 and has worked his way up in, in the league as well to become one of the best in Italy, um, yeah, I love this guy. He's just class. I don't have him on this game. I had him on the last game when he was a non rare He's only 19, guys. That is just ridiculous how good he is. Four star weak foot, 
three steps can move that should be four possibly in my opinion he was five in fifa 12 four in fifa 13 and now three so is he going to be on one in like fifa 16 i don't know makes no sense hi hi so that isn't great but uh, he's just a great all-round player your backup goalie not here amazing there De Silvio, as I said, he's alright. Emmanuelson, he's decent enough. He's he's all overall alright. Poli, a young youth player that they're bringing up. I don't know. He didn't seem too good. Montari, another good. You know, he's a decent fella to bring on. Panzini, as we looked at, decent overall striker. Lacks a bit of pace though. And Niang is just well, he's pacey and uh, he's got four star skill moves. So yeah, you you can use him if you want there. But uh, he is prone to miss in the Champions League. Remember that one last year. God, that was hilarious. Literally one on one with Victor Valdez, and he hits the post. That was a lucky, lucky, lucky one. Anyway, four, four, three, three formation is the best one in my opinion. Hope you enjoyed this sort of odd sort of take on it. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, please click the like button down below. Subscribe if you're new around here to get notified. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.